Good morning. It is June 29th and I found a pretty spot for us out here to enjoy our good news. So today is from Psalm 119 verses 161 through 168. Princes, persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous ordinances. Great peace have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I fulfill your commandments. My soul keeps your decrees. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and decrees for all of my ways are before you. Here ends the reading. I think this text is an interesting one of, it's unusual to hear people talk about how much they love the law so much, how much they love following the rules, following what God wants them to do. Usually we chafe from being told what to do or how to do it. And often we find God's rules and standards impossible to keep perfectly. Um, and we fall short of that. So it's unusual to have this type of respect and honor and love for the law. But what I hear in this passage is the way the psalmist is oriented. And I think that's the piece that I really want to bring out. The psalmist is talking about princes persecute me and falsehood is all around me. And I think about any of us that feel attacked by another or who feel like people are saying wrongful things or critical things or things about us that we don't like to hear, don't want to hear and how that can feel jarring and disorienting to us. And we can kind of bang into things like that. Like we hear something from somebody here and something else upsetting here. And it's sort of like we're a pinball in a pinball machine getting banged around in different ways. And what I hear in this is not a pinball in a pinball machine. I hear peace and constancy and vision and direction of the psalmist is saying, I know your laws and I'm keeping your decrees in front of me and I love them. And what I hear the psalmist saying is, this is providing me with stability and constancy. No matter what happens around me, all these jarring impacts, I don't have to be jarred by them. I can live in the constancy and peace of your laws and your ways, knowing that I'm trying to do my best for what you God are asking me to do. And that there's a peace in that. And there is gratitude that the psalmist mentions that the psalmist is praising God seven times a day. The psalmist is oriented in this direction. So similar to a horse with blinders on, the psalmist is looking just right here at God and not letting all these other components jar them. And I think that's really good news because we're bombarded with lots of stuff right now, um, both in our larger world as well as potentially in our personal lives. But it's a good reminder and a good orientation to us of focus on God. Don't let these other aspects as difficult and as upsetting as they are jar you off track. Don't be like a pinball in a pinball machine. Focus on my laws. Focus on who I am. Rest in that. And that that gives peace. And that creates thankful hearts in all of us. As we praise God for the consistency of who God is. The righteousness of who God is. That that feels reasonable and fair. It sounds like to this psalmist that... This feels like a safe place to be, right in the middle of God's law, and the psalmist appreciates it. So I just 
I encourage you to stay grounded in God today, no matter what jarring things happen, whether those are falsehoods or whether those are people persecuting you, whatever that looks like. Stay in what God offers you. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.